Uh, Councillor Dan Saws, leader of Harlow Council. The controversy over the Burnt Mills development. Um, is this a bad news story for Harlow Council and for the people of Harlow? Well, it's, a, it's absolutely a bad news story for Harlow. I think the, the first thing to say is that Harlow Council is doing everything possible to stop Newham Council buying this development. It's a private development built by a private developer on private land. It is not this, you know, it's not, the council did not develop this. The council is not selling it to Newham and all these other things that uh, residents may be thinking. But I equally share their anger and frustration because already other councils have placed more than 2,000 people in Tarlow into temporary accommodation. That is having a huge impact on our town. And we will, as I said, we will do everything we possibly can to stop Newham Council buying this block because it's not just about the the impact of more people in temporary accommodation in Harlow, it's the impact on our regeneration plans, it's the impact on the perception of our town. We're doing everything possible to rebuild our town, regenerate the town centre uh, and deliver on our other priorities and this will do nothing but uh, tarnish that work. This is now what, December the 22nd. When did you first hear that this might be happening? Uh, I think it was about mid-November, uh, it may have been slightly earlier, and the first we heard was Newham Council contacting us to say, um, by the way, we're taking this to our cabinet uh, for, for a decision. We're just checking you're not buying it. Um, and that's because there is a protocol in place that Newham Council haven't followed, which states that uh, in essence, and this is why their cabinet report is particularly misleading, um, it said that Harlow Council was given first refusal, which is categorically untrue, we were not. Uh, said that Harlow Council informed them that we didn't want to buy the block and that we'd turned it down, which again is categorically untrue. Uh, so the first conversation I had with Newham Council was with their cabinet member for housing to tell them in no uncertain terms that we were not supportive of this and we would do everything possible to stop it. And since then, uh, that's exactly what we've been working to do. So what happens now? Well, it's not easy. And I know people may make flippant remarks. Um, but it is not an easy thing to stop a private developer over whom we have absolutely no control. And some people suggest that, for instance, you know, we should be able to stop a private developer selling land. So we don't have the legal power to do that. You know, if if a resident wanted to sell their home to another resident, the council can't say we're going to stop you doing that. And that is the same uh, scenario. I wish it was in our gift to be able to stop a London council acquiring sites in in our town, but it's not. So fundamentally, what we are doing is engaging with the developer, continuing to engage with Newham Council. Um, Robert Halfin's working with the government. As I said, we will do everything we possibly can to stop Newham Council buying a block in Harlow. And I, you know, I want to be abundantly clear with, with some of your readers who have suggested other things. This is a private development. Harlow Council did not build this. Harlow Council could not stop uh, what has happened so far, um, you know, other councillors have even suggested that Harlow should reverse its decision not to buy. It's totally untrue. Uh, so, as I said, we're ruling nothing out. We are pursuing every option possible to stop Newham Council buying it. Did you help help yourself, though, with the topping out ceremony, a picture of you topping it? Because it, it looked like it was a Harlow Council. Harlow Council had some role here with, with, that, with that block. Now, what, what that ceremony was about was a £50 million investment in Tarlow. And the developer made very clear to us, even that day uh, in the conversations we had, that they were really proud they'd invested in Tarlow. This was going as they had planned um, onto the private market and for, and for private rented accommodation, increasing the supply of housing in Harlow. At no point did they ever suggest in that conversation that they were looking to other councils. In fact, they had actually advertised this on the private market for a number of months before going directly to Newham Council, not something we were involved in whatsoever. So, you know, I absolutely celebrated the fact there was a £50 million investment into regeneration in Harlow. Uh, but had I known at that point this was the case, we would have taken action far quicker. Just for the record, we have contacted Newham Council and we have contacted Hollybrook for us and for statements. Um, is, is this, do you feel though you could be like King Canute um, in that there could be other developments around the town that yet you don't know about that in 2024 we could get, I know this is very hypothetical, could get more stories like this? So there, there is a massive challenge that we have in Harlow, as I've said, particularly London councils, but a number of councils are moving to people in Harlow, there's over 2,000 already, into temporary accommodation. And residents will know there are some well-rehearsed examples of that, whether it be Terminus House, Greenway House, Astra House, 
which are absolutely appalling. You know, the effect on those people's lives and the effect on our town is devastating. Uh, that is that is the, the problem at hand here, is other councils are moving people to our town because it is, because it is cheaper than, than keeping them where they are. That is the issue we have to tackle. And, you know, like, like you say, there may be further private developments that come up. How can we possibly stop this happening? You know, we may stop this one, but what happens with the next one? We are looking at a whole package of measures to, to stop some of these things happening. One of the reasons that Harlow has been such a target for this sort of thing is because to date we've had, by comparison to other local councils, a low local connection time in order to be eligible for our council housing. So what that means is a London council, take Enfield for instance, which have done this very often, move people in Harlow, as soon as they hit the five year local connection time, their advice to that person is go to Harlow council and get a council property off them. And that is totally unacceptable. We have five and a half thousand people already on our waiting list uh, in Harlow. I, I'm not ashamed to say I passionately believe that Harlow's council housing should be for those people in Harlow. And that's why we're bringing forward a massive overhaul of that policy, uh, looking at potentially doubling that local connection time. We, we will go as far as we're legally able to, um, it, you know, prioritising people who are born in Harlow as far as we're le legally able to, to ensure that those council, our council homes, are for Harlow families and not for those that have been moved here from London boroughs because fundamentally you know I, I have great sympathy for the for the individuals but it is that council's responsibility you know I don't see it as my responsibility to move people from Harlow to other council areas for that council to house them it's you know fundamentally unjust. This block is very symbolic though isn't it I said I've just come back from doing a Christmas food shopping from as I said um from the Chesnut Boxburn area, and there you go on the A4 and 4. First thing now you see is that. So it's very important that's got right. Are you still in, will you still be having dialogue with Newham and Hollybrook, or, or is that those ships sail now? It's as you say, it is a significant site. You know, that is a, a large regeneration site, it's a large development that's been built there, right on the key gateway in, into the town. And you know, I don't think it would be a good advert for Harlow as you drive over the store with a welcome to Harlow sign to say the first thing you see is a block owned by Newham Council being used for temporary accommodation. So I am working flat out, day in, day out, night and day to stop this from happening. And whatever it is we have to do to stop this from happening and to send a very clear message that this won't happen in Harlow and to bring forward further measures, some of which I've mentioned, to stop this practice across our town is absolutely what we'll do.